for the algo strategies we needed start and stop features so we needed buttons for that and the next thing i needed was the user control to run strategies but we now also need a control for managing those strategies. what's up guys my name is mike i am a software engineer algo forex trader and recently i live in thailand as an expat for those who are new to this channel, if you are interested in algo trading, feel free to subscribe to this channel and join our Discord group to exchange ideas. And now let's move to the main topic of this video, which is me sharing my journey on building proper software for latency arbitrage algo trading. So let's see when we stopped last time. In the previous video, I presented to you the AIFE project, which goal was to create a microservices based architecture to connect to MetaTrader 4 or fix protocol connection and store all of the data into InfluxDB by using RabbitMQ as a message broker and InfluxDB stack to store TIG data of, for future usage. So the potential usage could be to train deep learning models or optimize the parameters of algos based on backtesting. The idea had to be dropped and I had to drop this idea to focus mainly to create a working proof of concept that will start actually make some money. Because how long you can develop software without creating proof of concept? So that will actually do what needs to be done. So I started fresh. I had to create a new project, but how to call it? So I just took a quick idea from the icon I made before for my previous project and I came up with the name called FX Box. So you remember this icon? So basically I had the box, so FX Box. Yeah, so like this. So we had the project, then the next step was to think about what the proof of concept app has to have in order to be able to trade algos on the market. So during my self brainstorming sessions, I came up with something like this. I needed one window application. I needed inside that window a control for managing the connection to brokers. Add connection, remove connection, connect to the server and disconnect. I needed also a window for each connection type to add specific configuration like for MetaTrader 5 or Fix Protocol or MetaTrader 4 or any other future connection I want to implement. So there was also a need for a user control to manage configuration of symbols for each connection to the broker server. We also needed a user control to display the actual market data that comes from active connections. And then we need to have another user control to display all the controls to manage algo strategies. I hope that makes sense. So. For the algo strategies, we needed start and stop features. So we needed buttons for that. And the next thing I needed was the user control to run strategies. But we now also need a control for managing those strategies. So we have a user control to run strategies, but we also need a control for managing those strategies like add algo strategy, remove algo strategy, or modify this algo strategy. With any other options when it comes to configuration of your algos. So this was the initial design of the structure of GUI and when it comes to the backend, it can get complex because there are so many things going on in the background with algo trading softwares. You need to make sure all of them work properly all the time and with no delays. A small potential issue can cause potential financial losses while running on production mode. So I came up with this logic. I will have a collection of broker connections. The connections which are active will be able to subscribe and unsubscribe from the market data symbols and will consume the live prices and updates, the values of the latest ask and bid prices of financial symbol. So then I needed to have a way to run algo strategies on this day. I came up with idea to create a list of algo strategy objects. Each object will have the pointer to different broker connection and different market data instruments. Also they needed to have a function, something like called run or something like run algo. And what that function would do, it will be basically an infinite loop that checks the freshest ask price and bid price data and then apply strategy logic 
to send trade, close trade, and also the algo strategy should append its state after each operation. The function will get executed, then one millisecond thread slip and again execute the function. And the function will get executed, then one millisecond thread slip and again and again execute the function. So this will be our infinite loop of this strategy and each strategy object should have its own infinite loop. Okay, so how do you think? Did I drop this project? Did it make finally some money? So the answer is the app was buggy. The code base was very messy and again started to be very hard to maintain if I want to add more features and connections. Also displaying all the controls started to be very very messy. It was for me very hard to came up with an idea how to add these little new features and it started to be a very big unmaintainable mess. Also let's do not forget about the last issue which was the performance of the app and the CPU consumption levels. So the issue was caused by all the infinite loops killing my CPU. Let's say you want to run 10 strategies with 10 different symbol configurations. This is 100 infinite loops spinning on your CPU with one millisecond break. It could be done. So believe me, this operation, this business logic could be done better. After analyzing the problems, I also found out that there was another issue with missing quotes as when you have more quote updates in one millisecond and in some of the fast fit connections, you could have even few updates per one millisecond. So the one millisecond infinite loop spin would lose some data between checks. So this also should have to be fixed. But the good thing is that this software worked. It was not scalable at all. It was a mess in the code. It was a mess in the GUI, but, but it worked. So when I picked up the correct broker connections, correct fast feed with correct symbols and correct strategy configurations, the software was able to send some trades that exploited the latencies between prices in different broker connections. So the goal was achieved, but I was not so confident about this version of FXbox app. So every time I was turning it on, I had to open the software from Visual Studio solution and run it in debug mode to check if something happens like I said before and to check if everything works correct. I said before, the app was very, very buggy. So I couldn't let it run without my supervision. It was not like set and forget, more like set, let it run while you monitor accounts and make sure if all the logic and trades goes correct. In case of any issues, I would just turn it off and close manually all the trades that were related to my FXbox software. It was working, it was working, but still with major issues. So I said to myself, okay, you achieved your goal. You made some profit on the trading account. So without any doubt, I decided one more time to scrap this project as the issue were related to poor design in the beginning. And please don't judge me. At that time, I was learning and trying many things to, to make it work. So by the way, during that time, I also changed my working gear and got updated to new MacBook Pro 16, which also lead to change from Windows to Mac OS. But more about this in the next video. So guys, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you liked and if you do, please hit the subscribe button down below and join our Discord community by clicking on the link below where we can exchange interesting ideas about trading the market through Algos. Thanks for watching and see you next week.